In the last three videos, we created a nice intuitive UI for sorting our videos. You just click on the button and it sorts it like that. However, there's still one problem. When you reload the page, it resets your sorting. That also means that when you give someone the URL for this, they'll see a different sorting than you meant them to see. Query params can fix it. Just tell the controller what query params you want to use. Note that the query params must be properties on the controller. And when we change the sort, it saves in the URL. Notice that if we make it sort by the default, that parameter disappears. Pretty nice, right? And it was only one line of code. Let's look at that diff. Well, that is all. Query params are powerful, and they're really easy. But there are also some more advanced features. And I'm going to show you some of those. Query params change the URL. So, as you might guess, you can change query params using the link to helper. Currently, we're changing the params with this action. But if we use links, we can eliminate it. We can eliminate passing the action into the component. And we can eliminate the action that passes it up through the component. Now, we just have to turn these two action calls into links. Let's look at the anatomy of a basic link to helper. You have the component name, link to, and then you have the name of the route that you're linking to, and then you have the content of the link text. A common variation is to pass in an item or an ID. For example, if you wanted to go to show a specific video. To use query params in link to, we use a sub-expression helper in parentheses. It starts by naming the helper, in this case query params, and then passing in values. Let's do that and pass in sort properties and sort ascending. Sort ascending is a boolean, and it's just a plain boolean, true or false. Sort properties is a array that we form from the sort property value that we pass into the component. And you'll see that it works just like before, but now with much more elegant code. You can see that the query params API is both powerful and easy to use. There are many more advanced features that we didn't get to today. If you're curious, you can look them up in the Ember guides. Next week, we'll use what we've learned here to add pagination. See you then.